this is a brief but detailed walkthrough of what's in the content producer. You can get to this from our content production bundle on the pricing page. This may change. We have heard feedback. We're taking that feedback into consideration, working on making our pricing more clear for you. So keep that in mind. That may change. But whenever you purchase at this level, at the content producer level, you're getting keyword research, 100 lookups. You're getting topic clustering, topic reporting, content briefs, SEO scoring, and then four premium posts. On top of that, you have the NLP optimization inside that content. You can set up a brand project. You can set up unique voice for every single project. You have a content planner, soon a content calendar and a content schedule. And you do have integrations into WordPress, Shopify. You have a direct Copyscape integration for a plagiarism check. And then Content Hacker Community Access, which is access to our paid community included for free. So at that level, you did do get a lot of good stuff and I wanted to walk you through what that is. So inside the projects over here in Continent Scale, you have access to our content producer. And if you have access at that level, this is what you're going to see. So this is a project that I have fully set up for my website at Content Hacker. All of the blogs you see produced by Content Hacker are 90% AI. 10% I've either completely humanly written or I've edited some of them. So keep that in mind. But the rest, like all of these are being generated by even this one by content at scale almost fully. And then we're going through it and AIOing that content, meaning we're optimizing that AI content using my craft framework, cutting the fluff, reviewing, adding images, visuals, fact checking, trust building. So this is what you're going to see at the content production bundle level. You'll log in and you'll have access to create posts. You can click write post. And this is the magic of that long form piece of content. You can write a content piece, generate it <laughs> from a keyword, an existing blog post URL. If you want to take a competitor URL or something that exists that you love, a YouTube video, a podcast episode, an audio file that you just recorded into. That's great for thought leadership content. If you're doing this for clients, great to ask them just to record an audio file on a topic that they have a lot of knowledge on. That becomes your input as well as a document. You can also turn off our SEO crawler. So built into continent scale, this is one of the beautiful pieces of it. It goes and looks at the SERPs, breaks that down, optimizes that, parses those results and puts that into the content it generates, much like a human writer would, but done in minutes, not hours, not days, not weeks. You can turn that off. If you only want to see a really good piece of content that is thought leadership and specific to that input, so if you have, let's say, a Zoom recording, you've exported the audio file and you only want to use that. You want to uncheck real time research from Google. So leave that alone. But let me show you what it looks like whenever we are going through my process, which is from the keyword itself all the way to content publishing. So I start here, the keyword research tab, which you have access to in the content producer. So you type in any keyword, you click generate, and you get this amazing list of keywords. This is real data. This is not free data. This is actual data Continent Scale pays for through an API access to a tool called Mangles. Amazing tool that I've personally trusted for five years. Um, so that's a paid tool I can now delete from my workflow because it's right here in Continent Scale. So straight from the keyword research, I can click create topic cluster topic cluster and then that's going to give me clusters. So from topic secures to clusters and then I can favorite clusters or go straight into content creation. Here's an example of a couple topical clusters that I got going on here for the keyword real estate marketing. So it came up with video marketing, 13 different keywords. You can see how it's grouping them so we can create content straight from this cluster. And these will be our H2s, our H3s. The AI will organize that for us. Another example here. So it's a great layout. And something you can do if you have an agency and this is your agency process, right? Content creation research, you can white label this entire platform. On the pricing page, if you go to up here at the top for my clients, you can pick a scaling. It starts at the standard plan. So starter standard scaling where you can actually access our white label platform starts here at standard and you're going to be able to share this with your clients. So all these features you can actually put on a subdomain that you own app.yourname.com 
AI with your own logo and you can white label this whole thing. So it's a great way to sell the steps involved in the content creation process. So once I have my keywords researched, my clustering done, I've looked at the data here, AI, RAI has organized all that for me. I can go straight over into content intelligence and I can start looking for topic reports. I can generate briefs and then I can go from there also into content creation. So if I'm looking at a topic report, I might want to go broad topic. And that's what I've done with this report for content marketing. And of course I would generate a new, a fresh topic report. I just generated this a couple weeks ago and I'm going to use it to share it with you. But the topic report goes super in depth, which I love. We've got average word count. It's telling us how many pieces it's looking at top 38 results. And it's looking at the number third, number three ranked article, which has the highest word count and the lowest word count from, comes from number 19. So I know I need to write a lot of content to compete with that. It's giving me the average readability level. We can see the trend data on this keyword, how it's consistently going up um, kind of solidifies a good market for me to write content in because there's search volume. I can go down here, see a competitive analysis of those top 38 pieces. I can see what those pieces are linked straight to them, as well as the readability, the SEO scores of those piece, the keyword times, the amount of times a keyword was used, headlines, paragraph amounts. So there's a lot of data I can access here from the content intelligence topic reports. And then from there, I can generate my own content briefs so I can write a post from that. I can see what kind of keywords that I need to target. So you can see we went straight from a topic report over into creating content. So we clicked that button and it's creating a piece of content. You can see the quality here, right? We've got H2s, we've got formatting, we caught, we have a table of contents that's clickable. It's hyperlinked to the keywords, which is something that's important when you're creating a TOC, you want it clean like that. You can directly integrate this into your website so it syncs up from the project level. So if you're on WordPress, you can go up here and you can control your WordPress options, scheduling it, publishing it. And if you don't have WordPress, you can export this to a Google doc. You could also copy and paste and you can work in directly in the code version of this tool here, our editor. So if you wanted to copy and paste the TOC, you can work on it from the code version. You can see how clean that code is, right? So it'll translate really well into almost any platform at that code level. So back to the content piece, this is what it's looking like. We can add to it, add visuals, images, we can beef it up, make it better. We have an SEO checklist here. We have an optimization score. We're going to need to beef this one up a good bit, but this isn't a piece I would even publish on that URL. Uh, sorry, the keyword is too broad. This is just for an example. So let's go over into a content piece generated from a keyword. Actually, what I'm going to do is pull in two, one from a keyword, one from a YouTube video. So this was done just a couple days ago. As of recording this tutorial, this was about 24 hours old. So we generated this straight from my YouTube video that just came out and look what it did. We're going to have to delete one of these videos because I put it in twice, but that's very, very simple. Um, this we can control. This is a CTA we can actually control from the project settings. So if you have a very specific CTA, you can go into your project use the project settings. This is incredible, an incredible way to build up your project with automation. So if you go to the call to action, you can set this up and you can link to something, the community, we're going to sell the community at content hacker, right? So you want to put all that here. So for example, if I have a blog post and I know I have a high performing concluding subheader, Right, like something that's working really well, something that's selling, something that's getting leads. I'm going to add that in and put that in the CTA section. So what I'm actually going to do is find one to show you what I would do here. Okay, so we're talking about, see this, it's time to build your blog empire, get inside the community. So we're going to put that inside 
here and we can actually control it so we have an intro and we have a concluding subheader. So I'm going to write out a concluding CTA. So I'm going to write out the CTAs that I want my writer to have and the AI is going to generate new ones every time inside the content piece. Okay, so I've written some CTAs that I want inside my posts that I want AI to remember, learn, and use. So the first one after every intro is this, and I actually might put it in italics just so that can stand out whenever the piece is generated. So I'll see that, my writer will see that, right? We can kind of tweak it every time, but this is something that I want after every intro. I wanna tell people, hey, do you wanna build a real money-making blog 10 times faster? Then go check out this resource. So your best resource should go after every intro, even if it's paid. Do not worry about that. Your best resource should go there. And then at the very end, I write almost like a little sales letter. This is the sales letter I wrote, All right? It's time to build your blog empire. Not sure where to start. We've got stuff just for you. I even put the price of one of my offerings in there because it's such a good price. Then I'm ending the blog by ending it from me. So I'm going to save that. And now that's applied and it will generate inside every single blog post. So in the project settings in Continent Scale, you can do all kinds of amazing things that really automate the blog for you. And I really encourage you to check that out. In the AI training, you can train it on your exact style. You can load this up with sections of your content and then it'll train on that as time goes on. You can sync up your post statuses to the WordPress post. You can also turn on or off post automations like the TOC FAQs. We're gonna turn the FAQs back on. I wanna include that in the Content Hacker blog. Okay, so if we go back to, let's go over here to one of the pieces that we published in the last 30 days. So if we go back into the blog post that it generated, it's following my style up here. Ever had a roller coaster ride? Well, you can imagine SEO is that roller coaster. <laughs> um, we're gonna make sure that the CTA is something that's more specific and tailored. So this is a CTA I would put there instead. We're gonna go ahead and save that. We have this video in here twice. So as you can see, right, you wanna always go through the content that it writes and make it better make it more personalized to what you want to see in the results. But the work is done because <laughs> this piece of content is pretty amazing. We even have a table in here that it generated. We've got specific points on eat, which was really important because I touched on that quite a bit in that video. So it's doing a great job pulling that out. Ad revenue, how Google is not going to die. <laughs> well, SEO die far from it. It's morphing, adapting in the face of Google's generative AI. So that's very good content. We're going to only need to do very minimal editing here. So all in all, the process of this content generation at this level, which you can also go to the research tab, you can check for plagiarism. Most of the time, a lot of the single LLMs, this is a multi stack of LLMs, the single LLMs like ChatGPT, Claude, it's gonna generate duplicate, potentially plagiarized content. This one doesn't. That's one of the reasons you pay for it. It is super high quality, built in a way where it's writing, generating original content each time. So this is Copyscape right here. It's an API call. I use that tool for 10 years in my writing agency. You can also run an AI detection scan to see how human-like this content is. So we'll do that as well. So it fully passes human here. And if we wanted to tweak that up even more, you know, we can see which sentences might need a little bit of work. And that's something my AIO writer can do is go through that and just humanize it, right? A little bit more. So that's a look at my process all the way from keyword research to topic reports to generating a really good piece of content. I'm gonna go through this, add in some images, visuals, a few more CTAs, I'm gonna, end in a pitch to a specific product or service that I have. And then it's ready to go. This is like 90% there, which is amazing, right? So that high quality content that's actually going to get read with good flow. We see it. It's right here. So that's my workflow using the content producer at Continent Scale.